another was the power. Another was that it had to look cool, and finally, it had to be an e-book. It had to be an e-book that's so important um, to, to for the education objective because of the book expenditures by Ministry of Education. So we spent a lot of time on power. We made the cylinder here so that it could hold C-cell batteries that are available in every country on Earth that we know of. Now, there could be some countries where they have to be imported, but we don't know of any. So because batteries only had 500 charge recharge cycles, and so we intend this lab, this laptop will be virtually indestructible, right? There's no moving parts except for the crank. We got it, but you know you can fix the crank. I think that that the countries can cover that. If this breaks off, it's fixable, right? Um, so by cranking this, you can charge the C cell batteries. You can put two in and charge, or you can, if you're left-handed, you can put the, the crankshaft over here and put two in here. You can hold four batteries. And how much cranking is required? Well, that's the question. It depends on the power consumption exactly. Our vision of worst case, what's acceptable is worst case is one to ten ratio. We want to do a lot better. It also depends on the mode that you're in. If you're in ebook mode, everything's powered down. You're literally paging the system. Page to page, the back lights off. I mean, you should be able to crank for a minute and last 40 minutes, an hour. But the, the truth is, honestly, we don't know. These are our current estimates. So would you say that's your biggest remaining engineering challenge? The biggest remaining engineering challenge? Um, Hiring. We need to hire people. So I, I this is a Well, let me give you my business card. <laughs> <laughs> so please, um, if you're uh, uh, I'm not an engineer, so I wouldn't be much help for all Yeah, so. that, that's probably right now. And, as you know, it's all doable. It's time. And I suppose what we've said is it's got to be great. We have this chance to do it. And if the worst case is we ship six months late, we'll take that black eye. We'll ship six months late. We're going to do it right. Um, also, honestly, government's a little slow <laughs> sometimes. But, you know, what's happening here is fantastic. The governments are competing with each other to be the first buyers of the first millionaires. We want to give, um, again, I think, a laptop to every child in America through their government, a million units at a time. There's a billion kids. That's our five year goal. Will it take seven years? Will it take ten years? We don't know. But, very ambitious. We need everybody's help. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> Well, thanks a lot. I really Thank appreciate you. it. So that's the one hundred dollar laptop. Until next time, this is Andy Carvin reporting from the World Summit on the Information Society. Thanks for watching.